Women in Hollywood speak up. Welcome to Access Hollywood. What a parade of strong, beautiful, and stylish ladies at Elle's annual Women in Hollywood Awards, which celebrates successful women. Our Alex Hudgens was part of the Girl Power Night and asked everyone what is their favorite part of being a woman. My favorite part is I, I know how to be a woman. You know, I'm, I'm an expert at being a woman. Getting to be a mom. I can be moody, as moody as the sea. <laughs> that I'm not a man. Favorite part about being a woman? Men. <laughs> to make you proud that you chose to honor me tonight, I am going to be the nastiest of all nasty women. You look beautiful, but also comfortable. Can I say that? Is it actually comfortable? It is so comfortable. Yeah, I had another option tonight, but it's kind of a long evening, and I was like, this thing weighs 25 pounds. I think maybe I'll go with the t-shirt -y dress. In Roberto Cavalli and her newly short blonde hair, the normally press shy Kristen Stewart smiled as she walked the red carpet alone at the L Women in Hollywood Awards, where she was honored. But girlfriend St. Vincent did attend. Her former Twilight co-star Dakota Fanning presented Kristen's award. Dakota is presenting to you. What, is, what does that mean to you? Most of all, I admire the woman I have watched you become. She's one of my best friends and one of my favorite artists. I think she's so talented. I, I'm. Uh, just like bragging rights. You're my sister forever. This is the group. Honoree Anna Kendrick, also part of the Twilight family, was chic in Velvet Gabriella Hurst. Ben Affleck, her co-star in The Accountant, humorously paid tribute to her, and we exclusively have his speech. Anna, you, you, uh, you are extraordinary, and you have proven that you can do anything. And with years of school plays behind you, you're at least a triple threat. Helen Mirren went for anything but basic black in Victoria Beckham. All the honorees posed for a stunning group photo at the event, sponsored by L'Oreal Paris, Hearts on Fire, and Calvin Klein Collection. Lupita Nyong'o, Regal Enduro Olowu, continued her recent parade of vibrant and traditional red carpet fashion. For me, uh, the head wraps that I've been wearing are the quintessential African accessory. Um, and I, I believe in just having that be a dynamic part of my my uh, sartorial expression. Well, what is it like to be here? It's awesome. I was here in 2007. It was sort of like a kickoff to a really, you know, big 10 years for me. Honoree Amy Adams and Black Long Vaughn brought along her mom. Sharon Stone was there to support Kathy Bates, while Felicity Jones in Velvet Dior was honored by Ron Howard. She's gearing up for the highly anticipated Star Wars standalone film, Rogue One. This is the longest wait ever for Rogue One. It is. It, is it, you? Uh, it is. It is. I'm so looking forward to seeing what people think when it finally comes out. And actually to be able to, my family are constantly asking me, you know, you've got to tell us, you've got to tell us, and I said nothing. And, yeah. Like some kind of spy, you know, for about a year. Well, we'll all know when Rogue One opens December 16th. Thank you.